Hey all, thanks for joining today. Uh, we'll talk to, today a little bit about speed up app development using Streamlit in Snowflake and our CLI. I'm Anurag, I'm the product manager here in Snowflake leading the dev platform in ecosystem. And we will have a special guest from uh, data superhero MASH who will join us later to talk about the app which has built using the Streamlit in Snowflake and CLI. So quickly going over the agenda today, we'll quickly uh, have a quick overview of what Streamlit in Snowflake provides how we're making a better developer experience with the CLI. And then MASH will uh, talk about a cool card demo, which he has built uh, using that. And then we'll wrap up with a call to action. So Streamlit is an open source UI library for Python. It's highly popular. It's one of the simplest way you can create really beautiful data apps, uh, all using Python itself. And it's used by thousands of Python developers. We are kind of making it much better with Streamlit in Snowflake, we are now not only Streamlit provides that really rich ecosystem of the Python library, but also makes it easy on Snowflake to be deployed with security and scalability all with the uh, with one click itself. Along with that, we are trying to uh, make sure our developer experience around Streamlit in Snowflake is really world class. Uh, uh, with that in mind, we are actually adding support for Streamlit in our CLI. What it provides is really simple commands for you to create, manage, and uh, deploy Streamlit all on Snowflake with one click and also build really easy and efficient CI CD pipelines for your Streamlit developments. Now we'll talk, uh, we'll hand over to MASH who will talk about this cool app which he has built using the Snowflake marketplace data and Streamlit in Snowflake. Over to you, MASH. Hey everyone, my name is Mash Sayan, and I am a principal technical specialist for Microsoft supporting retail and consumer goods customers. And I'm also a Snowflake data superhero, and I'm really excited to talk to you about an application that I've been working on for some time now. And uh, I'm really excited to, to uh, walk through the application, talk about Streamlit and my, my journey with Streamlit and also these latest uh, exciting uh, enhancements uh, with Snow from Snowflake on the Snowflake CLI and, and kind of share how easy it is to get started and how awesome and awesome and, and simple it is to be able to deploy so easily uh, to Snowflake and be able to, you know, iteratively make changes quickly as a developer and, and see those changes being reflected immediately through the CLI. Let's get started here. Maybe we start um, a few years back, actually, to go into this story about this car analytics application. Uh, a few years ago, during the pandemic, early months of the pandemic, I was very curious about understanding the pricing of cars, the depreciation of cars. I'm a huge car enthusiast. And I wanted to figure out how I could take data and just be able to visualize basic stuff like depreciation. And so initially what I did is I went out looking for that data. And what I found was that the kind of data that I was looking for wasn't that easy to find. And if I was able to find it, it was actually very expensive to purchase. Luckily, I did come across a company that was able to get me the exact data that I needed. And uh, the only challenge was at that time, this is back March, April, 2020 time period, I was uh, given a very, very large flat file. And so here I am struggling with this really large flat file, a CSV file that's been zipped up. And I'm supposed to figure out how to uh, open it up and be able to clean it and use it uh, in a way that allows me to to see cool things about cars like depreciation. That, uh, to make a long story short, that was very challenging. And at the time, I believe I was using like a personal AWS account to try to parse the data and, and using different you know types of compute to, to really make sense out of it. After some time, in the, some, some time went by and uh, I, I found out that I could, that this company, Market Check, and this is a huge shout out to them because they've been able to help me out with this amazing data set. I found out that they were in the Snowflake marketplace. And that was really exciting because from from my my last job where I where I was heavily using Snowflake at Chipotle, I was uh, I was really excited about the marketplace because you had so many different types of data sets that were available, and they would be sitting natively next to your own data. And I and I love that that nativeness about it. So when I came to find find out that this company, Market Check, that provided me with that original massive zipped up. PSV file also had the data curated, ready to go in the Snowflake marketplace. 
I knew that I could take advantage of that data very, very easily and accelerate my my development uh, a lot faster now that I didn't have to worry about you know cleaning the data and, and really going through all that effort of uh, getting it into a curated format in the first place. So that's that's how the, the that's how I found the data this and within the Snowflake marketplace. Then the next thing that happened was I was able to find a very very intuitive framework which is Streamlit, which I'm super super excited about, and uh, be able to focus on the data science aspects of the application without having to worry about the front end. So this was really important to me because I really didn't want to have to go learn JavaScript and HTML and CSS. I, I just didn't want to go that deep into the front end development side of it, but I still wanted to be able to create something that would be visually appealing and easy to use. And so Streamlit just knocked it out of the park in the, in those respects. So when I found Streamlit and then I saw that the data was in the Snowflake marketplace, I was able to bring both of these things together and finally be able to build something quickly and easily in a local Jupyter notebook type of environment and connect to my Snowflake database and be able to visualize the data, chart it out, find cool insights, consider new new charts and graphs that I could embed within my Snowflake application and do all of that uh, very quickly. So that's, that's really been uh, kind of the journey up until now. Uh, really excited to share with you guys the the cars application that I've put together using Streamlit and Snowflake and the CLI. But before we get to actually showing my screen, I want to talk a little bit about these the slide right here and the three steps involved. So as I mentioned, there's uh, there's data coming from the the marketplace, the Snowflake marketplace, from a vendor called Market Check, and they've got this amazing uh, repository of car listing data that I was able to take advantage of. And it was really nice because this, it was right there within Snowflake where, you know, all my data is already sitting. So I, I get the data from the market check uh, data database, and then I am able to create my own table based on a subset of that car listing data. And so, of course, I'm interested in looking at Porsche 911. So I do a CTAS statement and I create a very simple table that's referencing that uh, that original market check data. And I grab the key columns that I care about for the purpose of my application. Once I've done that, then within uh, Streamlit, I'm able to connect to that Porsche 911 table that I had created using functions in Snowpark. And so now that I've shown you a little bit about what that backend looks like in terms of connecting to the data, let me actually uh, take a step back and I wanna showcase for you guys the uh, the different uh, development and the things that that uh, that I've been working on. The application looks like this. So you've got um, you've got some drop downs where you can select different trim levels, and then you select the number of years you plan to own the car and the miles and everything like that. And then it presents for you a nice depreciation curve to help you understand the relationship between miles and price, which disproportionately make up the value of a car in essence. So moving on to the back end in terms of the application code, what that looks like is here I am, I've got this uh, .py file inside my Jupyter lab environment. I've got these different libraries that I've pulled together. You'll notice that I've got Snowpark here, I've got Streamlit, I've got you know some common Python libraries, .py, pandas, plotly, and things like that. And so the first thing I do is I use this load data function to pull in data from the database, from my analytics database, specifically from that Porsche 911 table, and I grab a random 3,000 rows, and that's more than enough for the purpose of, of my, my application to get a sense of depreciation. Then I've created a function where I'm calculating that depreciation itself. Once I've done that, then I have a... I've got a chart that I create that has uh, the the scatter plot, and what that does is that presents a nice curve on top of that scatter plot to show here it is the scatter plot that shows that uh, that depreciation and how it um, 
how the value of a car decreases with more miles in essence. So that's basically the application. There's there's not a whole lot to it. Now to take you from uh, from this view, I want to start to talk about the CLI. And what's really, really nice about the CLI is that you can get started with the CLI very, very simply. And one of the commands that you'll you'll start to use to, to get going with the CLI is going to be the init command. Now, I've already run the init command. I don't need to run it again. But essentially, what that init command would do is it will deploy a sample application. If you look at this, uh, this command right here is uh, snow streamlet init. It's going to create a new project inside this folder and then you can take a look inside that folder using the ls command and you can start to see that it creates an environment environment.yaml file and then a py file to to help you get started and 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 get um get going with your own project and finally you have the list command and the list command will will show you the different uh the different applications that you have running what's been deployed the the warehouse that you, that was used to deploy them, and all of that type of uh, information, and, and of course when you created those uh, those different streamlit and snowflake apps. So with that being said, let me take you to my instance of Snowflake, and so this is my Snowflake. Uh, this is my Snowflake environment. And inside here, I've got a whole bunch of stuff. I've got worksheets, dashboard, streamlet. I'm going to quickly take you through worksheets to kind of show you, you know, the back end how I've got things organized. So I've got these different worksheets that allow me to do different things, write queries, create tables, provide permissions, different things like that. And so as I showed in my in my uh, presentation on that slide, here's the table that I used to uh, to create that cars that Porsche 911 table, and um, so once I've got that done and I've got, and I've, and I've run essentially a deploy command in the CLI. So let me go back to the CLI actually. Now that you've seen how to use the, the, uh, snow init command to get started with a sample project and get that deployed, let's talk about how we can actually get this car analytics application deployed. And so that's also going to be very simple and it boils down to running a uh, a command that looks something like this. So we do snow streamlit deploy car analytics app. You got to give your app a name and then dash dash file. You're going to point to that main application file. So in my case, I've named my main application file home.py. And then this dash C is going to represent the name of the connection. I've given my connection to Snowflake as mash SF. And then I've chosen to use a different query where query warehouse. And so I have a couple of query warehouses. In this case, I'm using the medium compute warehouse. I also have a smaller compute warehouse, but with these key arguments in this command and hitting enter, I am basically able to get my streamlet application deployed. So now that my application is deployed, which is super easy, I can go to my application by simply opening the link and I'll see that very quickly. My application loads. I'm 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 within Snowflake now. I'm in my Snowflake environment. I've got my my car data, my sample data set, and if I scroll down, I've got my nice graph showing me my insights. So that's pretty cool. And then the other thing is there's this edit button here. If I click on edit, then I have access to my Python code, which I can make changes to right then and there which is also very nice. Uh, so it's, it's all there for me to, uh, to, to tweak and to, uh, update as I, as I see fit. So that's basically the, the Snowflake CLI in terms of ease of use, um, with just a few commands, I'm able to deploy my application. And then if I make changes to my application, I just simply deploy it again. So I could very easily go back. I could be making changes here, of course, but I also have the option to make changes inside the local copy that I have on my desktop, on my local machine. And once I go back and run the uh, the same deploy command with all the same arguments, I've redeployed the latest version of my application. So 
it's it's basically as simple as that really excited to share this with you guys and uh thanks Anurag for the opportunity to share this with everybody hey thanks smash for the awesome demo uh so the last step is uh we we want you to go and try the cli with streamlit you can use the qr code here to go and check it out and give us feedback and uh, really uh, looking forward to seeing what you build with Streamlit in Snowflake and CLI together. Thanks all.